the best things in life are free. Fitness expert Lisa Rally found the saying holds true at the Pietras Malefe Eco Park in Soweto. South Africa has recently been ranked the second most obese nation in the world. I'm proud to say, however, that South Africa is racing ahead in the obesity initiatives. Today, Carly Fields and I try out a session in the first of SA's outdoor green gyms. The gym has about 10 sets of equipment which can accommodate 20 people at a time. The equipment is mounted to the ground in concrete and it's weatherproof. It also boasts treadmills and bikes as well as aerobic sections, challenging both beginners and fit athletes. Okay, I'm done. Well done, Carly. Yes, <laughs> How was that? Lots of fun. It was great fun. It's different, hey? It's fresh. So do you think that uh, a project like this in a community would work? I think it should work. It has to work. I mean, exercise, whether it's outdoors and it's for free or you're paying a fortune for a gym contract, um, what's a better option? Obviously this. Thanks, Carly, for coming with me. It wouldn't have been the same without you. <laughs> it was fun, I must say. Yeah. <laughs> Green Outdoor Gyms is a proudly South African product, which has been researched and developed since 2008. In Gauteng, the project is in partnership with Johannesburg City Parks. Trudy, where did the concept of the Green Outdoor Gyms come from? Okay, um, a partner of mine, his name is Tim Hogan's, um, has always um, been passionate about coming up with a solution that, that speaks to the men that can't afford commercial gyms. So all the better that a concept like this uh, was given birth to. Tackling obesity is a huge task in this country. Do you have any backing or support to help you? Yes, we actually do, Lisa. Uh, we're also working with Biokinetics. Uh, they come in about twice a month to every gym and they, they obviously do what they do best in mm. you know, teaching people how to exercise properly and how to focus uh, in certain areas of your body, you know, based on where you want to lose or how you want to keep fit, etc. Especially for children and for, for older people as well, because we've got quite a few gyms to cover. As you know, we've already got three, and uh, we're hoping to roll out two every, um, say, four per, per month. Also, the security guards that look after the park are also trained, uh, trained instructors. So those are the guys or the, the teams that actually help us to do this. It's really awesome. So where does green come in? The equipment, the materials that it's made out of is, um, you know, green friendly in the sense that it doesn't add or, or, or further damage the environment. Well, I had so much fun this afternoon. It was fantastic to have like an aircon friendly zone, just the sounds of birds chirping and people having fun. It really was good for the spirit, a nice change from my normal gym routine, that's for sure. So it definitely gets a thumbs up from Carly and myself. <laughs>